make fans afterwards. So when we're selling, you just uh, brought up a point there. When we're selling, um, you know, I think it's a blessing here in Ontario that uh, we don't have to sell for what we said we want to sell for. Meaning in Quebec or California or Alberta, if I say 400000 and I get 400000 I must accept it. But here I could say 400000 get 410 and still say no. That's correct. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm leading to kind of the bidding war concept right. when we're selling homes. What are your thoughts on that type of strategy from time to time? It makes sense. It's case by case. So if you look at the market in that area in general, if there's 30 houses for sale that are like yours, then it doesn't make sense to do, you know, waiting on offer strategy. So if there's nothing for sale, there's a pretty big pent up demand. And, you know, and it's really the realtor who's going to give them the sound advice. And in many cases, we'll say, you know what, this for sure, we can do delayed offer strategy here. We can wait till Monday. Let's expose it for at least five days, get a yeah. weekend in there and let's see where the chips fall. And right? you can mess that up big time as a realtor yeah. if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, yeah, you can for sure. In yeah. fact, one realtor who was really upset, she had her mother's house for sale. Things didn't work out. She had a really good offer. She thought she should have got more. Now she's still sitting on the market. She actually wants to transfer the listing over to us because her mom's so upset. So you've got to really be careful. Yeah, and yeah. there's times where you've got to really give your clients good counsel and say it's just not the time to do it. And, you know, the other part of that, which is very interesting, is the bully offers, right? So, you know, we've had which that People happen. don't even know what that is. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. It's a so why don't you explain that for a second? Sure. So I'm your client. And you said, Rav, we're going to list your house on Tuesday, yeah. and we're not going to accept, and it's 400000 uh, You put it at three ninety nine, and um, uh, we listed it on Tuesday, and I'm not accepting any offers until Sunday afternoon. Right. And then? So, I mean, we had this happen. We'll give a real-life example. A couple of months ago, we had a house listed called $400,000. Um, we had not, somebody go through the house the first day, loved it, loved it. And we actually thought maybe we're going to get 410, 420. We were hoping for multiples and obviously get the price pushed up. The agent said, we'll give you a firm offer, $100,000 deposit. We'll give you 50, 60,000 over ask price, what? no conditions, which really I felt was beyond the value of what we're going to get in the open marketplace, even with multiple offers. So I then told our client, I, you know, we've got a bully offer. What's the, you know, what the phraseology. Yeah. I think we should really strongly. So we're not going to wait till the Sunday. Let's not wait on till Sunday. In my opinion, I think we should take because if we come Sunday and there's no other offers, this offer won't be at this price. They're and you're not, gonna, yeah, it's going to be less. It's going to be a lower price. Why right? would anybody so, pay more for, for the list price uh, if there's nobody else competing? You got it. So here they felt there was going to be multiple offers. And so it was during the strength, you know, the hot spring market. No. And so they didn't take that 450 Oh, so it took a lot of convincing. They finally took it. I mean, oh. but actually, I was, I was surprised. We had to go back and forth a few rounds. I said, guys, trust me. This is a fantastic offer. So they find they did take it and it worked out fine. But at that point, we also had to notify all the agents who all showed it. To be fair. To be fair to everybody, because yeah. we want to be fair. Our you know, our ethics are yeah. you know in question if we don't do that. Yeah, yeah, so we have to do all the right steps. So we told everybody there's an offer, a bully offer in play. We're gonna entertain it. If you're interested interested, please let us know. You know, nobody came to the table, we accepted the offer, 100 k deposit, we were done. Yeah, right, so no no no, that's great. Uh,